Hey, how's everybody doing today? All right, so I'm back with my two week, three week, three week maybe review. And it's been at least a couple of weeks review of the Next Level Racing HF8 Heptic Seat Pad. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and wow, I, I love the thing. It's awesome. Um, one thing to note is I went on to the app today, the Next Level app, and it had a big update and I was really psyched thinking that DCS was going to be added in because they said the end of second quarter and we're still not there yet but there were a lot of fixes to it anyways long story short it wasn't I was a little bit bummed out I'm still using the third-party software that came with it but it works good enough only with one little hiccup whenever I say I tip the plane on a land in uh, get shot down the feedback from it continues to do a, give a mild rumble and to fix it basically you just press this on and off real quick and it resets you don't have to reset the game you don't have to do anything like that but it resets it so you can go right on to your next map your, your, your next challenge whatever whatever you may be doing but anyways only way I can describe it is, wow, it's so cool. Even when you start, cold start, hot start, whatever, you're on the ramp, are you ready to take off from, from the, the field? When you're, going, when you're going down the runway and you hit a little bump, you can even feel that little bump. You, you, you feel it in the pads over here. And over here, it, it gives you, if it's on the left wheel, you'll feel it on the left wheel. If it's on the right wheel, you're on the right wheel. When you're flying, you fire the gun, you, you get a little overall vibration from, from your gun. If you're in the Warthog, it's more. You can set the levels up on this from zero, basically, up to 100. I keep it about 50 because even... 70 it's it's a lot you, you really do feel it it's comfortable it is solid built I mean I, I've, I've spent a lot of time on this in the last few weeks and it doesn't show even a scuff any type of anything the only thing that concerns me is it's pulling over here but it's all double stitched so I don't think it'll bother it at all it's it's the strap no big deal that's the only thing I've noticed with it. I, I gotta give this thing like, yeah, all day long, man, this bad boy's a 10. You notch hard to the left, you notch hard to the right, you pull back. Every area on the seat where you would, I guess, imagine you would feel it, like if you fire a rocket from the right or the left wing, you'll get a little pause and then a whoomp, but I just wanted to do a follow-up on this, give, give my um, opinion on what it's like two weeks in, and it's really great. I, I, you feel every bump, every vibration, every missile launch, you, you, every notch, left, right, all the Gs. It's, it's a blast. It just gives the game something new, turns it into something, it takes it to the next level takes it to the, that's why they call it next level racing, I guess. It takes it to the next level of immersion. It kind of brings you into it a little bit more. I mean, I've never, I, I can't use because from back in the days, I have some t um, tinnitus and to do like uh, VR or something that wouldn't work out for me because of vertigo, but with the track ir5 pro and whatnot I, I mean i've had no problem with that and it just wow what a, what a blast it is I, I i gotta give them credit where credit is due they did a great job on it i hope by the end of the month that they have the update ready where they add dcs in because i did go on i updated it today it did have a lot of fixes like i said and I was thinking, wow, okay, DCS is going to be in. I don't have to use this third-party software. Well, it wasn't there. So I'm sure they're still working hard at it. But the, up, the update that they did was great. I only really play DCS. So 
I can't really speak for any, you know, I guess there's what, F1, Formula One, there's some truck games. Um, I, I don't play Microsoft Flight Sim, I've tried it, but I'm more into the combat sim. So other than that, I mean, you know, there's, there's like armor and squad I mess around with once in a while, Quake Champions, but this is more my thing right now and this is what I'm into as you can see from all the equipment I've bought and everything, it's, it's, it's just, it's a blast. So, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a little piece of tape, I'm gonna put my mic on the seat, bring up the app, and I'm just gonna give you a little example at 50% what it does when you just give it a test. So, give me a second with that. Now that was at 45%. Let's bring it up to around 70. Things bounce all over the place. Okay, so that was a little example of what it does, but it's more how how to describe it. When you fire a rocket, when you go into a notch, when you're pulling G's, it's not a long vibrate like that. You kind of feel it in different areas where it shifts around to where it should be, I guess, and it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more like reactive. It, it's it's sharper, stops quicker when it needs to stop. It doesn't like do that long draw out like it did there, but that still gives you an idea on how much power this thing has. I just wanted to get back to everybody on that. A couple weeks, maybe three weeks, I've had it. I kind of lost track. I'm going to be doing another video. It's going to have something to do with something else with the flight sim next week. So. Hopefully by then, Next Level will have their update ready and they will put the module into their program for DCS and be ready to rock. I'm gonna edit this up and I'm gonna get back into another game. I've been having a blast all day with this thing. I mean, it's my weekend. Besides laundry, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it, right? Okay, so everybody, Peace out, and don't forget to give a like, and a thumbs up, and even a sub. And if you have any questions, don't be shy. Ask. I promise I will get back to you. Take care, everybody. See you next time.